What's going on guys? This is your boy Don back at it again with another Autodesk AutoCAD tutorial. Today I want to talk about grid lines and snap into your grid. If you're using a newer version of AutoCAD other than 2015, it's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead, jump on in and start this drawing. As you see, I'm at the beginning of AutoCAD. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. So when it comes to snap and grid lines, as you can see in the drawing space that we're looking at, there's a bunch of grid lines. These grid lines can be set to a certain distance, uh, whether it's going to be inches, decimal points, feet. Uh, you can set that spacing however you want. In order to set that spacing, we have to change the settings. In order to get to the settings, hold down that control button on that keyboard, right click in the background, Go down to Object Snap Settings, O Snap, which is short. In this dialog box here, at the very top, you have Snap and Grid Settings. When you check in here and look at all these settings, the first thing I notice, Snap Spacing and Grid Spacing says 0.5. That means that your units of measurement is in decimal form. We want to change that. I'm going to change it because I like mine in feet and inches. We're going to type in the command units. Hit enter or space to execute it. As you can see, drawing units, the length is set to decimal. Change that to architectural. Now it changes your precision to 1 16th of an inch. Go ahead and hit OK for those settings. Let's go back into O snap settings and go to snap and grid lines. Hold down control button on the keyboard, right click that mouse. O snap at the very bottom of the list. The tabs at the very bottom of this box, snap and grid settings. Spacing is now set to one half of an inch. Now, as you can see, my snap is turned off. That's because it's unchecked. Okay. This snap mode pertains to your grid, your grid lines. Each point on each corner of the boxes in your grid is a snap node, and it will allow you to snap to the grid when it's turned on. We're going to turn it on. Now, I want my spacing to be more than a half of an inch. I want it to be equivalent to one inch. Now, right here it says, equal x and y spacing and it's checked that's because when you change this setting right here to one inch it's going to automatically fill in the y spacing this also applies to grid x and y now the snap spacing is just for your snap spacing only this does not apply to your grid spacing as you can see in our drawing area this whole grid pattern that pertains to our grid spacing as you, in this one box right here there are five different spaces one two three four five each spacing is equivalent to a half of an inch now i want my grid spacing to be equal to one inch when i change y spacing it will automatically change x spacing let's go ahead and update that one it changed it the major line every five that means the it's one major line every five spaces. This is what I mean by your major lines. Your major lines is equal spaces of five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, there's your major line. Your major line is going north and south, east and west. That's why it's a different color for the grid. That's what separates your major line. Now, since my grid spacing is set to one inch, that means every five spaces is equal to five inches. I wanted my major line to be every 12 inches. So I want to have 12 spaces between each major line. Now, everything else is pretty much set. You don't have to change any other settings. Once I hit apply, these settings will take an effect. Hit OK see how my grid changed that means like i was telling you 
each square, there should be 12 squares right here in this grid. It'd be 12 going east and west and 12 going north and south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Each square for that grid is equivalent to one inch, which also means it is one foot or 12 inches tall by 12 inches wide. So you just want to make sure everything is set up accordingly to what you're doing. If you work for a client, you really want to make sure your client has a set of standards or procedures that you want to follow. Everything is different per each client. It's not the same. Unless if you're doing it for yourself, you can set up your own procedures or your own ways on how you want to accomplish and do your job, do your drawings. If you're just doing it for fun, you're just wanting to learn it. Now this concludes my video. If you like my content, please smash that like button. If you have questions, feel free to ask questions in the comments below. You're more than welcome to share the video, subscribe, do whatever you want. Please stick around. I'll have more videos to come and thank you for your time. Good night.